I am uh, uh, very happy to introduce today's uh, workshop, uh, workshop on women and transitions in uh, the Iberian Peninsula in 1970s. The case of Portugal and Spain allow us to broaden the theme of post-war transitions and move away from the North Adriatic area that the IRENE project deals with. In contemporary historiography and political science until recently, speaking of transitions meant dealing above all with the transitions of the 1990s in Eastern Europe. Recently, there has been more and more attention given to the transitions after the First and Second World Wars. Nevertheless, the transitions of fascist regimes to democratic, democratic ones, they took place in the 1970s in Greece, Portugal, and Spain remain in the shadow, especially uh, in Central Europe and also in Slovenia or in other uh, ex-Yugoslav countries. Today we'll talk about the transition which started with the Carnation Revolution of 25th uh, April in uh, 25th uh, April in 1974 and ended in July 1976 when the new constitution came into force and the first constitutional government was appointed. The distinguishing feature of this process was that it took place under the revolutionary supervision of the armed forces movement, which was soon revealed to be dominated by radical leftists. The pro-Soviet Portuguese Communist Party took advantage of the situation and cooperated closely with the AMF in a, but be, sorry, in a bid to establish a popular democracy in Portugal. This transition was marked by the radicalization of Portuguese politics by a revolution, revolutionary path resulting from a context of wars in the colonies and heavily marked by the return of 800,000 uh, retornados. Apparent, apparently less tortuous and peaceful seems the Spanish transition following the death of Gen General Franco in 1975 and led by the crown and moderate political parties. In Spain, the fear of a revolutionary drift in Portugal played an important role, but in both contexts, the communist parties played um, um, are uh, important subjects in the destabilization of the dictatorial regime. It is clear this workshop was not des designed to clarify all the complexities of the Iberian transition, but above all, to show the role of women in them and allow, allow us to increase the degree of comparison in our research. And now before I give up the floor, I want to briefly introduce the first speaker, Julia Spicoli, who will present a paper about the role of the women's group and movements, which were founded the movement of liberation of women and the union of anti-fascist and revolutionary women. She's a researcher, a researcher at the Institute of Contemporary History, Nova University of Lisbon. She has mostly carried out research on communist parties, biographies of left-wing people, resistance movements against fascism and the colonial wars, students' movements, women and feminist movements in Europe and Africa. As a filmmaker, she had made two documentarios, Apuntes Feministas and Vita de Lionel in uh, um, 2020. Um, Julia, please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Marta. I really want, I'm really happy to be here with you. I really want to, uh, to thank you, Marta Verginella and uh, Polona Kapler uh, for the invitation and uh, uh, Polona also for the very helpful um, uh, 
aid and the availability in the, all these uh, um, process. And I'm very happy uh, to uh, share the workshop uh, with the, um, all of you and uh, the other uh, speakers. So, um, Polona kindly <laughs> will share my PowerPoint because it was uh, easier. Many thank you, Polona. Um, so the uh, the slide, the second one is um, the slide with the title of my presentation uh, that is Women in Revolution, Women's Groups during the Carnation Revolution in, uh, in Portugal. And uh, by giving this title, I wanted to affirm that uh, um, uh, women in Portugal uh, um, lived, experienced uh, a revolution in terms of participation, in terms of activism, in terms of uh, liberation, and uh, we will talk later about uh, all these uh, uh, concepts, but also that uh, there is a, a, uh, an historical uh, revolution, so the Carnation Revolution in, uh, in Portugal. Um, the, the process of uh, transition is called the uh, PREC, in, uh, um, is commonly called uh, PREC. It means uh, Processo Revolutionario in Curso, Ongoing Revolutionary Process, and it starts uh, in April 25th, April 74, uh, and it ends uh, uh, on 26th uh, uh, November 75. But uh, before uh, we have uh, uh, the first elections uh, in April uh, 75, and uh, then the constitution, as Marta Virginella has already um, um, uh, remembered in uh, 76. And so this is a, a, a process. These years, these uh, months are different uh, in their uh, historical, uh, social and political um, conditions. And I will um, tell you about different forms of uh, uh, women's interventions and organizations within this uh, process. So uh, if you can, <clears throat> Uh, put the slide too. Uh, I wanted to uh, share with you this uh, image. Image uh, is a statue, As Mulheres Portuguesas Grátis a Salazar, uh, the Portuguese women uh, grateful to, uh, to Salazar. This uh, statue was placed in the uh, Salazar Garden, called uh, commonly known as Salazar Garden, in uh, 55. Uh, to, um, uh, and this is the image, the uh, Estado Novo Dictatorship that I remember was born in 1933. So the dictatorship, the Estado Novo Dictatorship wanted the, uh, the, uh, the women uh, grateful to the, uh, the dictator and um, uh, uh, of, of course, uh, um, dedicated to uh, to uh, family and to uh, to the nation and to uh, which were considered the feminine uh, duties. But shortly after, immediately after the golp uh, of um, April uh, 74, the situation uh, changed very, very uh, quickly. The slide three uh, contains a, a, a little, uh, a short uh, video. Thank you, Polona, for putting it. And uh, um, this, uh, um, this is the, the film As Armas e Povo, The Army and the People. Um, seven, a 75 uh, film filmed by a cooperative group of uh, activists and uh, directors, but it was filmed in in the week between April um, 25, April and May 1st, 74. So very very quickly after the golpe. Uh, women uh, um, gained a new visibility 
uh, in the streets, in demonstrations, in, uh, in, uh, in the city. Here, uh, I, I've, um, I've chosen this, uh, um, this piece of film because uh, women are claiming for uh, the need of decent uh, houses and uh, they, they say we are living in Baracas uh, and uh, uh, so we have not condition uh, of um, housing and uh, I, I really like these, um, these interventions because uh, uh, they are different uh, women from different uh, ages and uh, they, they look uh, uh, different, but uh, they um, all express uh, the same uh, need and the same, um, the same uh, urgency. The other slide is uh, um, uh, the following one uh, is um, um, in, uh, in line with the, the other one. So is, uh, it, it, it's for expressing the, the new women visibility and here women are um, uh, asked what do you think about the overseas uh, the overseas uh, war and uh, uh, they answered that the I'm against the war I've uh, I'm uh, I've had always been against the war the war had uh, has um, to stop uh, now, and the here they are uh, they are <clears throat> asked if uh, they know the uh, movement of democratic women, and uh, they uh, they answered uh, yes. So they answered yes. Uh, we know about uh, about about it, and it is an important an important. Um, awareness because uh, uh, the the movement uh, uh, was born <clears throat> under the the dictatorship and so it is important that uh, immediately after uh, the the golpe the MFA uh, golp there is an, an immediately uh, recognition of uh, uh, women's uh, uh, role and of uh, uh, an organized women's uh, organiza organization as the MDM uh, was. So uh, there, uh, there is the um, uh, April 25, 1974, the MFA, the Armed Forces Movement, uh, uh, Golpe de Estado against the, um, the dictatorship. And immediately after the military coup, uh, Portugal uh, knows the mass interventions uh, in the streets, uh, mass mobilizations, and a new visibility of people after the long uh, decades of uh, dictatorship, uh, almost 50 years of uh, um, dictatorship and <clears throat> women are uh, now visible in different uh, ways so the film and and um, uh, here they are interviewed by uh, among others but here they are interviewed by director Glauber Rocha who at that uh, time just uh, before moving to to Lisbon to participate in the Carnation Revolution was exiled uh, in Italy uh, from to escape the Brazilian dictatorship uh, just to to, to remember some transnational uh, connections uh, here. And the following uh, slide um, is about, uh, um, there, there is a, an image, the, the following one, not this one. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Polona, I'm sorry for this. And um, uh, this is a, a, an image uh, that uh, represent women uh, uh, from Sogantal, an occupied uh, factory in uh, 75. So 75 has been uh, the most revolutionary uh, year of this uh, uh, ongoing revolution, revolutionary process in terms of nationalization, uh, agrarian reform, um, uh, occupation of land, um, demonstrations and uh, uh, radicalization as uh, um, Marta Virginia has uh, already remembered. 
and uh, in, these images represent another form of women's in intervention. So uh, a spontaneous uh, intervention, then uh, an organized uh, way, uh, way of struggling inside the workplace as um, the uh, workers, uh, the women workers of uh, Sogantal did, but uh, this is uh, uh, one case uh, among uh, others. A another uh, symbol or another uh, uh, step of spontaneous uh, uh, mobilization in after uh, the, the Golpe de Estado has been <clears throat> the movement for uh, divorce immediate, immediately created in uh, May 1974 uh, with a huge participation of uh, women in um, two, um, two demonstrations are more famous than uh, others. The demonstration at June, in June 74 at Pabiglia Odus de Sportos and the demonstration in front of the Nunciatura Apostolica in July 74. And as scholar uh, Manuela Tavares uh, uh, studied and uh, has analyzed, she um, she, she has stressed the, the fact that this movement, this women mobilization has been uh, spontaneous, has been um, uh, free from uh, formality. It, it was a reflection of uh, an urgent uh, need. Um, so a spontaneous character and organize, organized uh, uh, strikes, and then I, I will add uh, other um, other uh, topics. Uh, the following the fo following slide is about uh, the independence and the colonization process. These are three images from. <clears throat> Uh, different uh, contexts uh, from uh, independence celebration in different contexts in Guinea Bissau, Mozambique, uh, and uh, Angola, because it, it worth remembering that uh, 74. The Golpe de Estado and the Estado Novo dictatorship, but also the uh, 13 years of uh, colonial uh, um, wars. And um, uh, Mozambique became independent in June uh, 75 and Angola in November 75. Uh, uh, Guinea Bissau uh, has unilaterally uh, declared its independence in September uh, 73. And so for contextualizing women's role during the Portuguese transition and during the, trans the, the Carnation uh, Re Revolution, we have to consider all these uh, aspects, so the, uh, the end of the, the fascist uh, regime and also the independence of the former colonies after 13 years of colonial uh, wars. Then the following slide is about um, uh, something um, is about uh, the uh, another important, uh, of course, uh, uh, um, subject um, uh, of the uh, the Carnation Revolution, uh, the MFA movement, MF, MFA, the Movement des Forces Ar Armadas, Armed Forces Movement, and in uh, of, of course in alliance with uh, people povo, and the the program of uh, the, this movement uh, was based on the 3D, the democratization, the decolonization and uh, development. And uh, the other, <clears throat> and the one, the first uh, uh, image is the image about the Alliance people, uh, MFA, and the other one is about the approval of the, uh, the constitution. So we have, um, uh, the, the goal. I'm sorry for remembering <laughs> a lot of times uh, all these uh, steps, but uh, uh, it, it, it's maybe it, it's uh, helpful uh, to understand uh, women's uh, um, organization and uh, women's actions uh, within the, the revolutionary process. Uh, 74, the goal. Uh, then in November 17, uh, five. Uh, 
the uh, supposed menace of, uh, uh, of a radical, uh, of a left-wing um, uh, coup justify the right-wing uh, transition that ends the period, the revolutionary period in November 75, and then the constitution is approved in April 76. But the, the constitution um, uh, is approved and it's, it, it is assigned by all uh, uh, the parties uh, with the program of transition to socialism. So uh, the atmosphere was a, a, a a, a radical transformation from a fascist dictatorship to the program of uh, edifying a socialist uh, country. The following slide introduces the uh, organized uh, movement. Um, I'm sorry, yes, uh, I um, no, thank you. You were right, I was wrong. Thank you, uh, Polona. Okay. Inside, within this, uh, this process, uh, um, the, um, uh, the Portuguese delegation goes to the Mexico City uh, conference uh, as other um, delegation from all over uh, the world uh, on occasion of the International Women uh, Year in June uh, 75. Uh, uh, tomorrow and uh, on, on Friday will uh, the, there is a, a, a conference organized by Natalia Yarska on, uh, on, on this uh, and I can share then the, uh, the details if you are interested in. So in um, inside this uh, process, there, um, a Portuguese delegation goes to the Mexico City uh, conference, and it is very important for uh, for seeing and for analy analyzing women's move Portuguese women's movement uh, in a larger context. Uh, in, so, in the context of the uh, United Nations celebration, and um, in the context of relationships with other uh, movements from all around uh, the world, and it is also important because uh, the year after the. The, uh, the the revolution. So the, in seventy six, uh, the YIDF, the Women International Democratic uh, Federation, gathered in uh, in Lisbon, and uh, the, these um, are images of uh, the, um, the the first one is the cover of uh, uh, Women from the War World, and uh, uh, the second one, the, the image in, in in the middle, is the uh, is refers to the article uh, um, of um, with the information of the uh, meeting of the federation in uh, in Lisbon. We can now um, go to the other uh, slide, and uh, here uh, I will tell about um, the women's groups. So, so uh, not the spontaneous intervention, uh, in, in addition to spontaneous intervention, in addition to women's strikes in, fact, in factories, uh, mostly during in 75, there uh, were uh, women's uh, groups. So the first one <clears throat> I want to to address is the democratic movement of women, movement democratic das mulheres, was born in 68, 68, 69. Uh, starting from 69, the movement integrated the, the YIDF, but also before um, uh, Mm, uh, these, uh, organi uh, these, um, uh, the, the organization of the uh, movement, uh, women, had women had participated in uh, uh, a political life of have tried to, um, uh, to um, create other uh, uh, movements, but um, 
uh, that were uh, were ended or uh, um, have been uh, forbidden by the uh, the regime in 69 now in 76 MDM provided a self description affirmed that they were, I'm quoting, a little group of anti fascist democratic with different views, a lot of them with a long past as a resistance against the fascist uh, regime. Uh, end of quote. The MDM defined itself as a unitary progressive anti fascist movement since 1969. Uh, 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 the, the, the year in which the movement joined the YID uh, uh, DF. And the first meeting of the movement was held in 73 uh, uh, under the, uh, the fascist uh, uh, regime. Uh, and the movement was not born from the, uh, the PCP, but communist women have been a prominent uh, role uh, in it. Uh, some of them uh, are Maria Luisa Costa Diaz, Alda Nogueira, Margarita Tengarrigna, and uh, Maria uh, Lamas. Ma Maria Lamas officially entered, entered the, the party uh, uh, only at, in uh, 74, um, and which was the position of the, uh, the, the PCP, the Portuguese Communist Party. So, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, apart from the democratic movement uh, of women, many women, of course, were part of the clandestine uh, part of the clandestine Communist Party. The PCP has been the uh, the, the only party that has maintained its, struct its structure and its organization during the long years of uh, dictatorship. And many uh, communist women uh, have uh, uh, suffered, uh, of course, uh, prize on torture and uh, uh, have been uh, uh, exiled, uh, uh, had suffered uh, a lot, but the, mm, uh, the PCP did not uh, have a separated organization of women at uh, that time. And when the movement was born, the PCP uh, supported the, the initiative of women in the same uh, way it had always uh, done, uh, so including the women in the parties. Um, um, political lines and political um, uh, idea. For instance, when the, the movement was uh, was born. Um, uh, the, uh, the 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 party in uh, in uh, in an article uh, on the journal Avant, uh, the, the the Avanti has been has survived uh, always uh, in, uh, in during the, the underground during the underground. Uh, period under the uh, the fascism and uh, so I'm quoting. Uh, no, I'm not quoting, but the, the, the part, the, 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 this article uh, affirm women have uh, uh, take over, and here I'm quoting uh, the flag of general claim, claims of Portuguese people. So the value uh, in the perspective, in the party's perspective, the, uh, the, the value of the movement, of the women's movement uh, was that um, they had uh, they had taken over the, the, the flag of Portuguese people, and and not the opposite, not that the Portuguese uh, people had to uh, take over the flag of uh, of uh, women. And uh, three days after the, the revolution, I'm always uh, on the democratic movement of women. Three days after the revolution, the movement claimed its support to the people's uh, uh, requests. So the end of the colonial war, the extinction of the P, the political police, uh, the coming back of political ex exile, the, the fundamental freedoms, the trade unions, freedom and the right to, uh, to strike them. And uh, in other documents, uh, they, um, the women's uh, uh, organizing in, in the movement wanted really to, um, to stress that 
they were included in a larger and dancing history of anti-fascism in uh, in Portugal, and uh, so they. Uh, in, in my perspective, they, they really wanted to, um, to insert their story and their claims inside the anti-fascist uh, movement, inside the democratic opposition in, um, in Portugal. And um, uh, I have something more to, to say about the movement, but maybe we, we can um, uh, skip to the other uh, slide and, and then I will say something uh, more at the end if uh, I have time. Mm, because um, uh, another uh, movement uh, was born uh, in uh, 74 and this was um, a completely uh, different in my uh, in my view uh, it was it, it was called uh, was because it uh, it, it ended <laughs> it, it was called the movement uh, movement for liberation of women movement libertação pela libertação da da mulher was born in 70 uh, in 74 the following uh, this slide is um, um, in a journal, journal article from Expresso of January 74, when where uh, a journalist interviewed um, the actress and political uh, political activist and uh, act French. Um, Actress uh, Serig about uh, the, uh, mm, the 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 meaning of a women's uh, li liberation, and this was completely new uh, in Portugal, and this was a new perspective because, for instance, the movement. Uh, uh, movement Democratic das Mulheres, the democratic movement of women, didn't um, didn't stress um, um, the aspect and the issues of women's liberation, uh, but was more concerned about uh, anti-fascist and uh, uh, women's uh, rights. The following, the following slide is about um, the genealogy of uh, this, uh, this movement. Uh, it, in the beginning of the decade of the uh, 70s, uh, these three uh, women uh, Maria Teresa Horta, Maria Isabel uh, uh, Barren, uh, Barreno, and um, uh, Maria Teresa Veglio. I, I, I'm confusing the name, but I, I, I will spell it. Maria Veglio, Maria Veglio da Costa, Maria Isabel Barren, Maria Teresa uh, Horta uh, wrote this book called Novas Cartas Portuguesas, uh, they um, be, were by echoing uh, an ancient, a more ancient uh, Portuguese uh, book. They wrote about uh, the, uh, the desires, the wills, uh, the, the claims uh, of uh, women. This book was accused uh, to be an offense to public morality and uh, uh, they suffered a trial uh, and it, it, it was a, a very a national, it has been a national and international uh, case, uh, the free um, uh, internationally known as the free Marys, the Tres Marias, because all of the, uh, all of three uh, had Maria as one of the, uh, the names. And they uh, were separately questioned by the police on the respective others' uh, attribution, and they refused to answer. And then the trial ends a few days after the revolution, and they founded uh, the, uh, the movement. Uh, Manuela Tavares, the scholar who mostly has investigated on uh, um, Portuguese movement, women's movement in this uh, decade, uh, had uh, um, interviewed uh, some of these uh, uh, women and um, she affirmed that uh, their uh, need was, uh, um, uh, was born from the participation to a meeting uh, uh, of the Movimento Democratico uh, das Mulheres, to the Women's Democratic Movement, and um, 
uh, they, um, they, they they wanted a different. Uh, they had a different perspective uh, perspectives on uh, the right uh, of uh, abortion, and because of, of, of this, uh, they created another uh, movement called uh, the Movement for for Liberation of Women uh, uh, in seventy four, and. Um, in 74, so during the, the revolution, during the uh, few months after the, the golpe, the Movimento Democratico das Mulheres, the Women's Democratic Movement, um, um, uh, wrote uh, a, a statement uh, about uh, the, their differen differenci differentiation from this, uh, this movement, because the um, the, the names, the acronyms was, uh, were similar, MDM and MLM, and <clears throat> they received some uh, information about uh, this, uh, this com confusion and they, um, they clearly affirmed that we are not uh, a feminist uh, movement, the MDM, the Democratic Women's uh, um, uh, Movement of Women. And this new uh, movement uh, was um, uh, was different. Was a, a different movement and was not in line with the um, political ideas uh, elaborated by the uh, women's democratic uh, movement. The following slide is about uh, is <clears throat> always about. Um, the movement for liberation of women, and uh, um, this is the this is about the end of the movement in January seventy five because um, the activists organized a demonstration in Park Eduardo VII, a big garden, a big park in Lisbon. <clears throat> Sorry, and uh, we can see here. Um, uh, women's uh, interpreting uh, three different uh, roles, the vamp, this one, and then uh, there is the housewife uh, and the bride. And, and so they organize that this is the, the housewife uh, and then um, uh, uh, this is the bride and the vamp with the vamp. Uh, so this demonstration, this performance, we we we, we could uh, call uh, um, uh, call them a demonstration like like a performance uh, was boycotted uh, by men, but not by few men, but a huge <laughs> mass of, of uh, men, as you can uh, can see. And this was the the end of uh, um, of the uh, the movement. Then the, the following uh, slide is about another movement born uh, in 76, the Umar Union of Anti-Fascist and Revolutionary uh, uh, Women. Um, uh, it was born in September 76 uh, in a women's encounter at the Instituto Superior Tecnico University here in, uh, in Lisbon. In, in its manifesto was stated that the union would be a real uh, mass organization, not sectarian with, with open doors to all uh, fighters, uh, women in there. Uh, can, uh, can participate anti-fascist uh, revolutionary women with or without uh, uh, party. If uh, the uh, MDM, the Democratic Women's Movement, uh, had a particular, uh, particular, uh, had a, a more strict relationship uh, with the uh, Portuguese uh, Communist Party, the Umar, this uh, um, a union had um, a, a relationship uh, with the UDP, you know, uh, that was a, a left-wing uh, um, party, um, uh, popular democratic uh, uh, union. And uh, in December 1977, uh, uh, the union launched a manifesto for contrasting the traffic of young women and um, 
uh, be because uh, some cases uh, occurred, not some cases, but uh, yes, uh, um, uh, uh, several cases uh, occurred in, in, in Porto because uh, girls started to uh, disappear from Porto, probably sent to Spain from uh, prostitution. And so the union, it was one of the first uh, national campaign carried out by the uh, the uh, umar then um, and all of, uh, the, um, the democratic <clears throat> women's movement um, is uh, still existing and uh, the union of anti-fascist and revolutionary women also uh, they are the the the, uh, the two movements uh, uh, that are still existing and uh, the movement for liberation of uh, women uh, ended in 75. Then in uh, um, the union in at the end of the 80s in uh, um, 1989 it changed its name in movement for social emancipation of Portuguese women and um, in uh, 1990, it assumed the today's name uh, Union of Women Alternative and Response. So they have uh, maintained the acronym, but they have changed the, uh, the, the word and also the, um, uh, the meaning. The following slide is about the um, uh, the institutional uh, subject and other institutional and other uh, or women's uh, organization, but uh, this was uh, the institutional uh, institutional uh, the, um, women's organized by the um, uh, by a state uh, um, organism, and um, as I said, I um, I will participate uh, tomorrow and uh, on Friday uh, to the workshop organized by Natalia uh, Yarska on this. But, and uh, I, for this, I have analyzed more the the, the role of. Um, a Portuguese uh, um, delegation uh, at uh, the Mexico City conference. I want to affirm here that uh, it's um, uh, th this delegation uh, was composed, uh, was chiefed by this uh, woman, Regina Tavares da, da Silva. Uh, in origin, the, uh, the design person was Maria de Lourdes Pintasilgo, uh, but uh, then they, um, uh, she, uh, she couldn't uh, attend, uh, she couldn't uh, go to, uh, to Mexico, and uh, so Regina Tavares da Silva has been the, um, the, the chief of the uh, delegation, um, and um, not uh, the, the, the chief of the, uh, uh, she has been the, the chief of the uh, commission, the representative of the commission of the feminine uh, uh, condition, uh, an institution that still uh, exists. And uh, I, I just want to, uh, to remember here that it was in July 75 and um, they, uh, and in, in Mexico, uh, delegates knew about the Carnation uh, Revolution, they knew about the Portugal and the Portuguese uh, situation was very uh, observed to, to, to see the evolution of the uh, political uh, situation in, the, in a socialist uh, direction of uh, uh, in another um, uh, direction. And the discourse of the Portuguese delegate started by referring to the profound change in political and social uh, aspects because of the, uh, the revolution. And she affirmed that Portuguese people had chosen the path of true socialism for a society without uh, classes. And she also referred that revolution had started the period of um, decolonization. 
So these are uh, some important uh, elements also because uh, um, the following slide, if I can uh, see it, uh, is about, uh, yes, thank you, is about uh, the women's groups in the former colonies. Because when Regina Tavares de Silva referred uh, in uh, in her speech, in, her, in, in, uh, in the official discourse, in, in the, the, the final three lines, she referred to uh, women from Angola, Mozambique and uh, Guinea-Bissau. Uh, it is important be because um, women uh, in the former colonies and of course in other African countries uh, were organized and had struggled a lot during the, uh, the colonial wars and they had established of course uh, uh, transnational uh, links. They had relationships with the Portuguese women and they uh, also had a relationship with the YIDF and uh, they um, they were already uh, met in several occasions um, uh, in the uh, conference uh, uh, of uh, all African uh, women. And this, this is very uh, important in my perspective in, in the last few years I've analyzed and I've studied the uh, relationships uh, between uh, uh, women from Portugal and women from uh, uh, Angola, Guinea-Bissau and uh, Mozambique, st stressing their, the, the, the political um, values uh, uh, of uh, their uh, transnational uh, relationships. And so the, the following slide uh, is about uh, uh, the um, um, the women from the uh, the former colonism. I um, these uh, is um, uh, these are referring three of of them. Uh, the first one on the, I don't know if on the right side or the left side, but uh, the the statue the the statue's corp is body is the. Uh, a, a monument to the Angolan uh, heroines and the OMA uh, logotype is uh, uh, also referring to the organization of um, Angolan uh, women and then there is a, um, an image of a guerrilla fighter from uh, Mozambique, the Mozambican uh, woman in the uh, revolution. And, um, this is very important in my perspective because uh, in um, two aspects are uh, important in two and more, but I want to stress these uh, these two issues. If um, considering the Carnation Revolution and the Portuguese uh, transition to uh, democracy. One, the first one uh, concerns uh, the feminism. So uh, the um, MDM the, that due in 74-75 was the most uh, important organized women's uh, uh, movement refused uh, feminist feminist issues. It declared uh, itself a non-feminist uh, movement, and so Portugal during the transition of we uh, uh, knew a big intervention, a big women's uh, intervention. But uh, it, it, it's it's really important to to consider uh, the. Uh, the end of uh, uh, the try of uh, constitution of a feminist movement uh, in Portugal in 74 and 75. And the other aspect is uh, this one. Uh, so the relationship with the women from the, uh, the former colonies, because uh, it's true, as I said, that uh, Regina Tavares da Silva 
mentioned the uh, women in her uh, speech uh, to the United Nations Conference in July, uh, June, July 75. Uh, it is uh, true that she mentioned the uh, women from Angola, Guinea Bissau, and uh, Mo Mozambique, but she uh, she mentioned them in this way. I'm uh, quite, uh, she ad, uh, addressed a special greet to women from Angola, Guinea Bissau, and Mozambique, and I'm quoting that they may help to build new countries of justice, of freedom for them and their people, the best wishes from uh, women of uh, Portugal. So, <clears throat> Uh, my, I have to reflect more on this uh, aspect, but um, I, I think that, uh, and I really want to, to ask you to uh, help in a debate and in a reflection and in possible uh, topics, because um, uh, so the Portugal was uh, in a revolution. The uh, old uh, political Political parties agreed in the direction of uh, socialism, and um, the right wing party signed a constitution that stated that the Portugal uh, was going in direction in a socialist in direction of uh, um, socialism, and it means that and um, so the situation was uh, really revolutionary, but. But two aspects are uh, are important. Mm, so one is the first one is uh, uh, in this revolution, in this conception of a path to uh, socialism, feminism was not included. And the other aspect is about the relationship with the women that uh, from colonies, uh, organized women <laughs> from uh, from the colonies, because the uh, the, um, the 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 mention the mention and the wishes from Portuguese uh, women maybe uh, uh, were too uh, formal in uh, for a revolutionary uh, path uh, of uh, of Portugal and um, I can finish. Here my presentation. Thank you so much to Polona for uh, for the slides and to you all for your attention. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Julia, for a very clear and interesting uh, lecture. I now I open the discussion. Um, well, I have a, a questions, but I prefer the other begin uh, with questions. Dagmar, you have a question? Uh, yes. Hello, can everybody hear me? Yes. Um, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for a very interesting talk. Um, you mentioned towards the end of your paper um, uh, the 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 colonial perspective. So I was wondering whether you could comment maybe a little bit more about the uh, on the international perspective generally. Um, how much were these women looking uh, beyond their borders, operating transnationally? How much were they embedded in maybe a transnational network of uh, previous and contemporary women's movements. Um, I'm, for instance, thinking of the WILF, the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, were there liaisons, were there intersections, and or maybe reversely, what was the international reaction of women's groups from a diverse political and ideological spectrum um, towards um, these various uh, women's action groups in Portugal? I have also a question for Julia, but I cannot hear Marta. I think that you have, you have the audio closed. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, 
<laughs> okay, thank you very much, Julia, for your paper. It was really interesting and also uh, inspire, inspiring in order to make some comparison also with the Spanish case. And so my question was about uh, the relationship between social movements, uh, that is also a question that uh, I have uh, in when in my topic, and the parties. So for instance, the relationship between the Communist Party and social movement during, and female social movement, during the uh, revolutionary period. So if uh, the Communist Party in some way directed the movement, or as you explain if I understood well, uh, uh, these women were in a, in a grassroots, effectively grassroots movement. So uh, this is my point. So if you can uh, dive into the relationship between uh, uh, the Communist Party and these social movements. I have also two questions. One is about the Catholic uh, uh, women. Are the Catholic women uh, present in, in the, um, this women and feminist movement? And the second is uh, what happened with the most, uh, um, with the um, activist, with the feminist uh, after the 1974, 1976. These women entered in the, entered in the institution, um, uh, had important uh, role in the Portuguese society or uh, um, remain in the shadow or remain on the margin. Thank you. Should I answer now? Yes, I think that you you could. Okay. How many time I have, Marta? Sorry. Uh, Ten minutes. Okay, so I will start from in the space of uh, Julia, but I think that the questions are so uh, interesting that uh, you need time to respond to it. You have 10 minutes for sure. Thank you, Polona. So thank you <clears throat> uh, to Dagmar for the, uh, the first uh, uh, question. I uh, um, would uh, start uh, from the the most surprising uh, issue uh, to me when I have started to uh, to analyze the transnational connections and relationships uh, between women from the former colonies and uh, um, women from um, other countries in Africa and uh, in Europe that uh, uh, they did connect in the uh, absurd and difficult and um, war condition or dictator uh, dictatorships uh, uh, conditions and they uh, they um, they uh, had formed organizations, groups, and they have uh, expressed solidarities. Uh, they, uh, they have established networks of solidarities in uh, material and political way. So the first point to me was that, for instance, Portuguese uh, women um, had established uh, contacts and uh, met with other women uh, from uh, all around the world, um, starting from the beginning of the 60s and going out uh, uh, of Portugal uh, was forbidden, uh, the, uh, the condition of the uh, Estado Novo dictatorship, uh, the dictatorship uh, did not allow uh, it. So, so the, the, the first um, uh, topic uh, to me is that uh, the, conne the connections did uh, exist. The other one is the 
formation of uh, uh, women's organization in Angola, Guinea-Bissau and, uh, and uh, Mozambique with differences, of course, um, in the uh, three different contexts, the uh, organization of, um, uh, of Angolan women, the organization of Mozambican women, the union of Guinean women, they had different um, uh, different uh, uh, genealogies, they are not all uh, the same, of course, but uh, to me, uh, they, um, uh, starting from the, uh, the 60s uh, and then uh, mostly during the, uh, the 70s, uh, they participated in the uh, all African Women uh, Conference and the All African Women Conference was, uh, of course, in uh, uh, connected to the YIDF, Women International Democratic Federation. And um, for instance, the sources uh, tell us a story and um, uh, history of. Um, uh, uh, request of material help, uh, request of uh, uh, money, uh, um, expression of uh, um, solidarity. So the solidarities are uh, crossed, are combined, and they are uh, plural. Uh, and also um, the um, women's uh, interventions uh, against the colonial war are, uh, uh, are um, varied, are um, plural, and uh, women organize themselves um, in, uh, in a very large scale and in multiple uh, multiple uh, forms. For instance, uh, the um, Portuguese, uh, the YIDF during the uh, 60s uh, spread an international uh, um, appeal, an international request to all uh, uh, women's organization uh, for uh, protesting against uh, the um, women's imprisonment in Portugal. And uh, the, uh, the OMA, uh, the Organization of Angolan uh, Women, uh, already organized, um, sent uh, their uh, solidarity to, uh, and to Portuguese uh, women, to anti-fascist Portuguese uh, women that uh, who were in uh, um, fascist uh, prisons, or, for instance, uh, in um, uh, in the middle of the um, the uh, the sixties, a um, a uh, one of the uh, prominent uh, uh, activists of the uh, Movement Democratico das Mulheres, Women's Democratic Movement, uh, traveled to Latin America and to different countries of Latin America. She had been in Argentina, Uruguay, and uh, Brazil. And there, um, uh, um, not, not only women's uh, organization, but uh, Mm, anti-fascist and democratic organization received uh, her. So uh, to me, the, the, uh, it, it is important and in my view, my idea and my uh, perspective is that uh, these connections uh, among uh, women at transnational level, one, they are unexpected and uh, uh, be be because uh, it was uh, difficult to to, uh, to travel and also be because they have they have not been uh, studied uh, a lot and the second point is that um, uh, i'm insisting on, on on this point because the relationships and the transnational uh, dimension of women uh, women's activism allow us uh, to see uh, women's intervention during the um, uh, the Stade Novo during the colonial wars in another perspective uh, respecting for instance the relationship with uh, male parties uh, with male domination with uh, um, 
patriarchal organization of power and of um, institutional or non-institutional uh, organizations. Can I answer to the second question or you want to, are you satisfied? Oh, thank you, thank you very much, that's great, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Akmar. And so the question by uh, Julia, thank you very much for uh, your question. The, uh, the, the, the issue is um, uh, uh, large and very, very uh, interesting. And I, uh, I always think uh, <laughs> that uh, also in the more and more years of research on, on this, I, uh, I, I will never have an idea <laughs> about uh, the relationships um, between the PCP and the Portuguese social uh, movement um, because uh, uh, it is articulating the, uh, and uh, it is uh, uh, complicated. But uh, um, to me, I can, uh, I can see that my perspective during the, the revolution, for instance, uh, uh, here women's intervention and women's activism is very, uh, is a very good point of observation to see the relationship uh, between the um, Portuguese Communist Party and uh, a, a spontaneous uh, social uh, movement. Uh, in the uh, the attitude and the political line of the uh, the party was and uh, has has been uh, to remember and to legitimate uh, the political uh, line of the party. On the one side, it is true that, that the Portuguese Communist Party has been the, uh, the, uh, the only one, the only um, uh, party that uh, with a lot of uh, um, prisons and uh, years uh, of uh, prison of its uh, militants uh, uh, and activists and leaders and survived uh, with a clandestine structure to the uh, uh, dictatorship on the other side on the other side um, the uh, for instance referring to uh, to women the party acted as um, during that uh, time as um, women were uh, were understanding the political uh, line of uh, of the party so uh, women were embracing uh, the uh, the political line of the party women were not something new were not something different to uh, to which the party had to um, to to um, yes to experiment a different uh, attitude or a new um, um, uh, political uh, uh, position. For instance, um, the um, uh, and the, in, in this uh, the uh, the movement uh, the the movement uh, uh, of the, the the democratic women's uh, movement has been uh, very uh, in uh, in in line with some of the aspect. Um, of uh, uh, parties' uh, uh, ideas, uh, because this was um, the, the 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 movement in line with the uh, construction, with with the building of a new uh, country. So the the, the party. Uh, its political lines referring the uh, social mobilization of uh, women has been. Uh, a, a, a total, in my perspective, a, a total uh, inclusion in uh, in in uh, its um, uh, uh, perspective, mm -hmm. um, and uh, in, in this, for instance, the uh, their um, uh, 
because of this, the only relationship, the only long relationship has been with the democratic movement of women. Because the other two were different, were expressing and were claiming different needs and different uh, um, wills and uh, de desires or different, uh, were stating something different. And um, so I, I, I will say that, uh, yes, the, the, the part I, I was searching for another uh, um, uh, abstract from uh, the Avant, but I'm not find, finding uh, it. But it, 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 the, the, the quotation uh, that the, the women uh, are taking over the flag of Portuguese people, uh, it was like before of these women were something different uh, from Portuguese people, no? So to, uh, to synthetically uh, answer in a clear way, <laughs> way I, I would say that uh, uh, political uh, PCP um, could ac accept uh, uh, um, all coming from um, um, all that was coming from uh, uh, a social movement of women uh, until uh, these claiming were uh, could be included inside uh, the political line of, uh, of the party. And um, to answer to uh, the, the question posed by Marta Verginella, it's about the Catholic women and uh, uh, the feminist uh, issues. The Catholic... Uh, sorry, Julia. Julia, sorry for uh, interrupting. Uh, we are a little bit long, so uh, I will ask you to really reply in a short manner. Thank okay. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the. Um, uh, so the uh, Catholic women, yes, they uh, had a, a, an important uh, role, and uh, uh, Regina Tavares da, da Silva and Maria de Lourdes um, Pinta Silva, especially, uh, had remembered the um, women's organization. The uh, the the Catholic organization of uh, women in um, uh, 75 and, uh, and after. And this has been, for instance, a, um, a matter, an issue of distinction and also of uh, division with uh, um, uh, feminist women and with um, from a, a democratic uh, movement of women on the question of uh, the right of abortion. And abortion is uh, completely legal in Portugal since 2007. And uh, so the, um, uh, the, uh, the path to the legalization and the, 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 the struggle for the legalization has been a long uh, path and in this path, uh, uh, the uh, distinction and division uh, inside the women's uh, movement uh, had, of course, a, a role as as a role. Also, the uh, feminist uh, the feminist uh, exclusions, uh, um, and then the. Um, uh, the, the free Marys and uh, uh, are um, they had some careers like a journalist, poet, and uh, uh, and writers. But for instance, another aspect is um, the, uh, it has influenced then the feminist path in Portugal. For, for instance, in uh, in Lisbon, the first feminist strike uh, occurred in nine uh, in twenty nineteen, so three years. Ago. Yeah, yes, the first time. And, uh, and um, like, uh, like the, the relationship with the women from colonies, also the, um, uh, the exclusion of uh, feminism had uh, a, a role in the, uh, in the uh, history of uh, feminism in, uh, in Portugal. Be because of the marginalization 
of uh, these uh, instances and also of these uh, um, people. Maybe they, they have not been uh, uh, marginalized as individuals uh, because they had careers, uh, uh, but uh, they, they uh, really have, have been marginalized uh, as a movement. Thank you very much. Um, now I would like to present the second speaker, Giulia Quaggio, who will address the topic 